at it again, and I gotta bring y'all this clip here. Now, the first part of this clip has some pretty loud music. I apologize, but the music does quickly fade, okay? It doesn't last for very, very long, but it is pretty obnoxious, so I just wanted to put you guys on notice before I start playing the clip, because I'm sure some of you guys are gonna hear it and be like, what in the actual? Nah, I'm not watching this, but stick around. You guys are gonna want to hear <laughs> You're gonna want to hear it. Trust me. Trust me. And the music fades out pretty quickly. It, it, it's, it's annoying at first, but it, it, it fades away. <clears throat> now, I wanted to bring this clip to you because CNN goes on about a five minute rant on, um, I guess what they think is, you know, this negative Trump monologue or whatever, you know, oh, Trump bad, Trump bad man, Trump never Trump, Trump, Trump Putin. You know what I mean? Like, that's what they think. But in actuality, <laughs> when you actually sit down and listen to the points that uh, she makes, CNN makes in this, it honestly makes you want to support Trump even more. Like, share, comment, and hit that subscribe button if you are new. <laughs> Prepare yourself. Remember, I told you, there's some loud music playing at the very beginning of this clip. You're going to have to listen really, really closely to what she is saying. But the music does fade out. It takes about... 10 seconds, 15 seconds, and the music fades out, okay? So be prepared, 15 seconds, and it'll fade out. Let's dive in. If he is elected again, is looking more autocratic than democratic, more vengeance than governance. And how do we know that? Well, his own words. Item number one, revenge. The Washington Post reports that he and his allies are plotting to take control of the Justice Department to punish his perceived enemies. Now, this includes President Biden and many of his own former officials, from John Kelly to Bill Barr. It's something that Trump also admits out loud. If I happen to be president and I see somebody who's doing well and beating me very badly, I say, go down and indict them. Mostly, that would be you know, they would be out of business. They'd be out. They'd be out of the election. Now, a reminder. Notice how they notice how they show that clip, but they don't show the whole clip. He was actually talking about doing what the Democrats have done. But I just wanted to address that because we've already talked about that clip in a previous video. That he floated the death penalty for retired chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Mark Milley. Item number two, he's planning to purge the government of employees to install his own loyalists. Axios reported that 50,000 workers could lose protections, including those in national security posts, intelligence, law enforcement, the State Department, even the military. And of course, he has also said that part out loud as well. This is the final battle. With you at my side, we will demolish the deep state. We will expel the warmongers from our government. We will drive out the globalists. We will cast out the communists. We will throw off the sick political class that hates our country. Yeah. Item number three. Uh, I, I, I don't know about y'all, but so far, so good. It's, it's, it's sounding mighty good to me, okay? <laughs> and that's what I think is hilarious about this whole thing. Like, you're just convincing me to support him even more. Like, th this, is, this is fantastic. This is, this is lovely. He wants to consolidate presidential power. The New York Times reporting that he would increase his grip on every part of the federal government, from the FCC to the Trade Commission. He could also even refuse to spend money the way that Congress intended. Item number four, he's once again teasing... Oh, oh. <laughs> First off, you notice how they didn't show a clip of that one. <laughs> The first two, they, 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 had, they had clips and evidence, even though that very first clip uh, with the interview, I addressed that one. That's not what he said. If you played the whole clip, he was talking about the Democrats doing uh, what he had mentioned there. But anyway, uh, first off, or I, I should say second, consolidate power. You mean like be able to get rid of the deep state? That, 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 that's what she means? <laughs> And oh 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 you mean you mean like um now I, I don't I don't think I'd necessarily agree with this, but at the same time, what we have been doing has not worked so far. And what what I mean by that is Congress has just spent money like like it's going out of style. I mean I mean it's absolutely ridiculous. If we managed our own personal finances the way that the government manages finances, bro, we 
we would each, each of us, each of us, not all of us together, each, each of us would be in like $50 million worth of debt. <laughs> it would be something ridiculous. Imagine, imagine just on a regular person's salary, we'll say, we'll say $40,000 a year. You make 40K a year. You're in $50 million worth of debt. <laughs> Imagine that. That's how the government manages finances. So you mean to tell me, oh, Trump is like, nah, nah, bro. I'm fixing this. Mm -mm. Y'all send me some crazy bill. Nah, bro. No, we, we not about to keep spending buku bucks. Okay. <laughs> I'm not necessarily mad at that. Now, I don't know that he said that because they ain't show no clip, but I'm not necessarily mad at that. But let's continue. Even more travel bans for a wide swath of people. Again, He's saying it out loud. And in my second term, we're going to expand each and every one of those bands because we have no choice. We aren't bringing in anyone from Gaza, or Syria, or Somalia, Yemen, or Libya, or anywhere else that threatens our security. Number five. Oh, so he doesn't want to bring in anyone that would threaten the security of the United States? That's a bad thing? Wanting to be safe? No, I'm not saying necessarily that all of those people would threaten the security, but he said threaten security. So that's what he's trying to accomplish with that goal. He's trying to make sure that we are safe. So trying to make sure the, that the citizens of America are safe is a bad thing. Remember, that's what they said. Ideological tests for anyone trying to enter the United States. I will implement strong ideological screening of all immigrants. If you don't like our religion, which a lot of them don't, if you sympathize with jihadists, then we don't want you in our country and you are not getting in, right? We don't want you. Get out of here, you're fired. Item number six, in addition to banning many from entering, he is also vowing a historic removal. And we will begin the largest domestic deportation operation in American history. Oh, 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 oh. so you mean, so you mean, you mean Trump is actually going to do what the people want, including Democrats? And I have clips for that. We, we talked about that in the previous video. You guys remember AOC uh, 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 in the crew out in New York? Yeah. Yes, it was in New York. And all of those Democrats were out there yelling, close the border, close the border. You know, and, and we saw the couple of interviews afterwards when uh, I believe one of the chicks had said that she was disappointed because she voted for them, yada, yada, yada. Oh, so you mean Trump is actually going to do what the Republican voters and Democrat voters are saying they want Democrats to do? That's a bad thing, of course, though. That's a bad thing. People of Chicago as well. We, we talked about Chicago. So Trump is actually going to do what the people of Chicago have been asking their elected officials to do? Sounds mighty nice to me. Number seven, also involving immigration, Trump threatening to restart family separations, taking children away from their parents at the border. Remember, some of these families were never reunited. When you say to a family that if you come, we're going to break you up, they don't come. Now, you may recall that... Wait, 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 wait. Stop the presses. Stop the presses. Stop the presses. So you mean Trump is actually telling them there's going to be consequences for your actions? For you trying to break the law? Uh, well, I'll be darned. <laughs> hey, if you come here, I'm going to do something harsh to you. I'm going to separate y'all. Don't come here. I think that's a pretty darn good deterrent. Anybody that got kids don't want to be separated from their kids, right? Well, most people, most reasonable people, right? I, I, I would like to hope everybody, but, you know, I know we got some crazies amongst us. None of us want to be separated. So, hey, I know how, I know how to make it hurt. You come here, I'm separating y'all. Don't come. So that, that's a bad thing that Trump is actually trying to deter people from coming with harsh consequences. Huh? Okay. Okay. His administration actually first denied that this was happening at all. And now he, he's out there touting this policy. 
we did family separation. A lot of people didn't come. It stopped people from coming by the hundreds of thousands because when they hear family separation, they say, well, we better not go. Number eight, he says that he'll pardon many of those convicted in the January 6th attack. I will be looking at them very, very seriously for pardons. Very, very seriously. Number nine, he'll attempt to invoke the Insurrection Act. That's according to The Washington Post. He and his allies want to use the military to quash protests. And item number 10. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Time out. We only got one more. So you mean he's going to squash the burning and looting of buildings? Oh, okay. He's going to squash the uh, destruction of property? Because we, we, we all know what the left does. See, the left has one instance from the right, you know, um, destroying something, right? Being crazy, you know what I mean? But we got lots of instances of the left doing that exact same thing, plus more. There's, there's multiple videos of the left. I mean, absolutely, just, just flat out just burning down buildings, looting, running inside of buildings, taking all types of stuff that isn't theirs, right? Kicking in doors uh, in front of police officers in some cases, right? We've seen that before. Police officers inside the building, you got the rioters outside, kicking the doors, breaking the breaking the glass and everything. Oh, so you mean Trump is actually going to squash that? Because that's not a protest. Last time I checked, okay? <laughs> that's not a protest. <laughs> so, like, she's just convincing me. A question mark over the most powerful alliance in the world. In a second Trump term, would almost certainly withdraw from NATO. Trump himself continues to brag about telling NATO allies that he would not defend them unless they paid more. So while many of his Republicans' rivals jab Trump for refusing to debate and be on that debate stage, that particular platform is not necessary to understand his vision, one that includes retribution and spite at the heart of it. Oh, so you mean Trump is actually going to hold them accountable to um, what's what's that line that the left likes to use all the time? Pay their fair share. <laughs> it's, it's funny how that line circled back because it's pretty relevant now. Trump is saying pay your fair share or else. I thought the left liked that. I, I, I thought the left loved that. I thought that's what they were all about. Pay your fair share. We heard Democrats screaming that to the high heavens for a while there. That was that was their messaging. So they all were saying it. Pay your fair share. We need them to pay their fair share. And now that Trump says it, it's all of a sudden a bad thing. Interesting. Interesting. I like it. I like it a lot. I think those were 10 great points that um, only strengthened my support for <laughs> Thanks, Ian. I appreciate you. <laughs> but as always, I pose the question to you guys. What do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comment section. Did this only strengthen your support for Trump? I just find it hilarious that they thought that was like all of that was a bad thing. I'm just confused. <laughs> like, share, like, share, comment, and hit that subscribe button before you go. Peace and love. I'm out.